Mick, please. Where are you? Please. <laughs> I need to see Scarlet. No way. You've done enough, all right? The poor kid's still crying. Oh, shut up, Ricky! Wait. You can't just bark in here! Scarlet! Scarlet! Right, that's it. I'm gonna call the police. Can I talk to you? No, you can't! It's okay, Uncle Ricky. My Mick. He had a big heart. And he loved people. And he loved being a dad. And that's how he saw you, as one of his own. So, I'm sorry I shouted at you. Hi, Jean. I've just come to say goodbye. There's nothing here for me anymore. Just bad memories. Where are you going to go? Carly rang. She asked me to go stay with her and my, my grandson. That's exactly what you should do. You got company? Oh, just Harvey. What, are you and him? No, nothing like that. In fact, it's actually getting on my goat this evening. Don't kid yourself, Jean. Life's too short. You get a chance of some happiness, then go and get it. Would you, um, keep an eye on this place for me? But you are. You're going to come back, though. I don't really think this place is home for me anymore. Not without Mick or Tina. And I drive myself mad, you know, just me and their ghosts. Denise, I just need some time. She still hear me. You've still got time to say goodbye, if that's what you're asking me, but... Oh, no. We're close. Uh, ben sends his love. Yeah. Yeah, he's on his way, darling. You know, if he was here now, he... He said that you and Lex were the best thing that's ever happened to him. We're going to take such good care of her, I promise. Don't you worry. That girl, she's... She's one in a million. Just like her mum. Goodbye, love. I couldn't say goodbye to her, Sharon. I just couldn't. I just... Death isn't something you ever get used to. <sighs> Look after her, Mum. Please. Lex, I ain't having you fussing around with nail varnish now, all right? It won't take long. Mum wouldn't mind. I mind. Right, I don't want that stuff up my nose. Mum likes the smell. Oh, Lex, please, babe, not now. But why? Lex! She's my mum!
I'm sorry. Why don't I leave you with Mum? Hey, paint her nails and play her favourite song if you like. You don't mind? Where are you going? You'll tend to have Mum to yourself. What do you want to come back as? A fox, yeah? Yeah, I can see you coming back as a fox. Wily, sassy, scrappy. Sexy too. Yeah, all right, you can come back as a fox. What about me? Hey, what will I come back as? A rat. <laughs> it's a bit below the belt, that baby. <sighs> Still. I'd come back as a rat as long as as long as I get to rummage through the bins with you. I'll take whatever I'm given. Although, although you ain't speaking, I can still hear you. <laughs> Your gobby voice is going to be in my head forever. <laughs> Look, love, the sun's come up for you. On purpose, to <laughs> She did it for us. to Mick, all right? You've got to come back. Just come back and face the music. Oh, you mean go to prison? Oh, just get a good lawyer. They'll sort you out. Look, the bottom line is, Ginny, you're not going to get away with it. Mick's following you. They've called the police. Ginny, look, it's better for everyone if you just give yourself up. Thanks for the advice, Ricky. Merry Christmas. She's heading for Dover. She's turning off. Mick, turn. Turn now, you're missing! Stop! Pull over! Don't you want it? 
Oh. Mick, are you okay? Oh. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Janine, stop! Stop! Oh. <laughs> Still in there. Don't go! Mick! Help! Don't go, Mick! Help! Don't do this. Max. But you can't drive. All right, you've had a drink. I'm fine. You're not fine. You're anything but fine. Where does it go? Come on, come on, Max. Please. Come on, listen to me. All right, I'm your brother. I know, I know you're my brother. You're a good brother. Go on, go. It's not like this. I called the garage. It's probably just cold. The battery's gone. Let's go, darling. Start walking. You can't walk. It's freezing. Max. Go on, go. Somewhere. Uh, nah. Nah, just a little trip. Oh, where? Somewhere special. Secret. Oh, that's exciting. You all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've just got to go. I don't want to miss my train. See you around. Yeah, I'll see you. 
si Mbak. Get her, don't you worry, darling. I will sort Max. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't want any conflict. Not in front of Abby. She hates all that. But we, we, have, we have to. What, darling? <laughs> what little thing? It must be freezing. Where's Max? Where's Grandad? Oh, come on then. Let's get you warmed up. Come on, darling. See you keep the cash in your knickers. Promise me. Oh, on my honour. Absolutely. <laughs> you ain't gonna put your money in your drawers, are you? No. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Nance. I love you. Be good. Um, if you uh, if you happen to get any blisters and you don't have any plasters at hand, just just wee on your feet, yeah? Hey, you really want those to be the last words to your sister? We on your feet. <laughs> Love you. Don't we on you? I love you. I love you. Look after yourself. Love you. Love you too. Right, you call us any time. Right, I can have your dad on the plane with you in three hours, all right? Day or night. I'm gonna bring the world back to you, man. Anyway, Whitney, I'll take care of you. Welcome to the tube. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, me too. Remember no parties on the weeknights and eat some green stuff. Remember to shave. Mm. I know it's not always been easy for us here, Dad. But we had some good times, didn't we? We had some laughs. So I'm gonna miss that and I'm gonna miss you, Mr. Masood. I miss you, Mr. Masood. I love you, Dad. I love you too. I'm not going to make a summer dance for this. Good. Um, I'm a bit scared now. It's okay. It's okay to be scared. It's a big world out there. Go and enjoy it. Explore it, have fun, okay? Just come back and see your old man now and again, okay? I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you. I love you. Enjoy it.
well. That's that then. Take care of yourself, yeah? I should let you know that I'm not going to live with Mum. I'm going to go with Peter. I'm going to New Zealand. New Zealand? But, but is, it, is this because of me being so horrible? Because if no. it is not... No, Abby, it's not about you. It's about me and Peter. I really want to be with him. I'm sorting my life out, Abby, just like you wanted me to. Oh, I never wanted you so far away, no matter what I said. Good luck. Ready? Ready. You were saying to Dad. Oh, look, what I said about Whitney, I... Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Maybe it's just nice having someone here to talk about dresses and makeup. No, that doesn't matter, Mum, honestly. You're worried about me, aren't you? Look, I'm not sticking my head in the sand. I just... I'm just sick of my life being all about Dean Wicks. Oh, Mum, your life has never been all about well, him. Well, it's felt like that for the past few months. But now I know I'm stronger than him and... Well, this family's got a future and he don't. That's exactly what I'm scared of. Mum, he... Dean was here. When? I... I didn't want to have to tell you this, but... Dad won't listen to me and... he's not telling the truth and... I'm just scared that he's gonna have to... he's gonna try and take everything on himself and then he's gonna end up inside. Inside? Or I... Nancy. Nancy, look at me. Did something happen between your dad and Dean? I think he might have killed him. Yeah, I do, but I thought I was going to do this. Sarah? Oh, yeah, one Baby's got to have something from home. Stop to this. No, Jack, you stay here, all right? You're gonna make everything work. No, I've warned him. All right, you stay with her. Just look after her. <sighs> Come on, you're right. <sighs> so I go to her. I'll be right back, okay? I'm 
sorry to say I'm closing up. In fact, I'm shutting up shop for good. Unless, of course, you're in the market for a nice new flat. In which case, I'll happily accommodate you. Oh! Listen, I know what you did. Oh, God, is that hurt? But if you look at stage again, I'll kill you, all right? I don't think I can't because I'm going to... Hey! Oh, my tooth wobbly. Just stay away. You know, the trouble with that girl is... managed to get your old car back. Yeah, with a little help from Martin here. Well, I had to pay twice the asking price to get it here on time. Alfie, I can't seriously believe you're driving to Spain that heap of junk. Come well, on, you know my fear of flying. Well, I wish you'd tell me this plan of yours before I put the tickets. I'd like to surprise you, don't I? Yeah, I know. Oh, I thought I'd miss you. You know you're going to look like the colour of creosote, don't you? Why else do you think I'm going? What happened to Sister Judy? I don't know, she just disappeared. Who is she? She's just someone that helped me out once, that's all. This is it. I'm gonna miss you, Stacey Slater. Mm. Yeah. Got room for a little <laughs> one. I'm gonna miss you and all, Nan. Oh, no. <laughs> right, uh, it's time to make a move, sweetheart. Well, it's goodbye for me, everybody, oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'll let her say her piece. Oh, You okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, then. See you guys on. <laughs> in the back. Let's get this show on the road, eh? You and me, Alfie. Together forever. Oh, no, just sit 
Francis. Well? Well, what? They charge me. Did you find the solicitor? What solicitor? Your solicitor. My solicitor? Yeah, you, you told me you'd phone him. Oh, yeah, so I did. Yeah, it must have slipped my mind. What? I wouldn't worry. Some of these duty guys are top-notch. So if it's all right by you, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye? I've never been that keen on being made a fool of. And you've made a right fool of me. Oh, don't tell me you believe everything they're saying. Don't worry. First offence. Life doesn't really mean life. Doubt if you get more than eight to ten. That is not true. None of it's true. I'd come and visit you inside. But those places just give me the creeps. What about our baby? Your baby. I'll see you, sweetheart. Or rather, I won't. Well, good riddance, you spineless git. The only man I ever met that made Ian look interesting. I don't need you. The size of your wallet is the only good thing you got going for you. First thing I was going to do was to help you. Do you know that? No! Cindy's oh. yeah. been arrested. What? Oh, for the shooting. I can hardly believe it. I'm going to keep the kids. Well, how come? Right. Rosanann, you've got John Valicute to make a statement from prison. He's implicated her. She's not going to get out of this one. Oh, Ian. <laughs> yeah. What do you think you're doing in your car park there? Oi! Are you sure you're doing the right thing? There's still time to change your mind. You and me are just the same, Ian. We've always thought there'd be someone there for us because we didn't think we were strong enough to make it on our own. Well, we both know different now, don't we? We're survivors. You bet. Such a strange feeling, being freer. I'm going to make the most of it. I love you, Mum. I swore I wasn't going to do this. I couldn't let you go without saying it. I mean, all the times I've let you down and hurt you. Just stop it, all right? Don't you dare put yourself down. I am so proud of you. And I know if your dad was here, he'd say the same. You and Ben are the best things that have ever happened to me in my life. Every man I've ever known counts for nothing next to you two. I love you to death. Come here. Come on. Otherwise, you're going to miss your plane. All right, I'll ring you as soon as I get there. Yeah. No, don't watch me, will you? We just go. See you, mate. Have fun. Phil, what the hell are you doing here? Where is she? She's gone through. It's too late. No, it ain't. Phil, don't do this. Don't do this. I've got to talk to her. Just let her go. I mean, for the first time ever, she's doing what she really wants to do. What are you going to do? Drag her back and make her miserable again? Is that what you really want? You're never going to make her happy, and you know but it. I don't want to have to hit you, Ian. Yes, you do. You always do. So come on, what are you waiting for? It's your answer to everything, and this is what she is finally getting away from. I mean, do you love her? I know you say you do, but do you really love her? Because if you do, you'll let her go, and just for once in your life, you'll do the decent thing. So what's it going to be? Hey, okay. Flight 710 to Amsterdam and connecting flights to Cape Town and other <sighs> intercontinental destinations is now boarding. Will those passengers either come in on, darling. or with That's small us. children please come... I don't want to watch this. I'm off. I understand. Oh. If anything, this has made me love you even more. How brave of you to start our married life with a clean slate. You're a mug. None of this is real. You do know that, didn't you? Well, come on, say something. <laughs> when I was on the game, right? Ooh, I did some iffy things. But of all the filth I have had to enjoy for money, being with you was by far the foulest. Your great, big, greasy, horrible body on top of me. Oh, oh I had to be really big to put up with you, didn't it? And you're standing here thinking you've made great realisations about yourself. Well, you haven't! You're the same doormat you've always been. Just like I'm the same heartless cow everybody warned you about. You love me, though. Oh, you love me, though. You love me, though. No! Ain't you listening to me? I have never loved you! You did. I saw it. It was fake. 
I pretended to like you. I pretended to care about your idiotic nervous breakdown. And you know what was hardest of all? I pretended to love you. I love you. You can't love me, Barry. Don't you see? That is what I have been saying. I saw it in the jacuzzi. You were telling me about Frank and you smiled and that was real. And you loved me. Even if it was just for a split second, you love me. You see, you have got a heart. I have it. You can have it all. I don't care. Take it. Just, just stay with me. No way. You won't even have to sleep together. Just don't leave me. I know that there is love in you. We'll find it together. Oh, me! <laughs> Now, do you believe me? Jack. Memories are better.